Okay, so this is a half inch spindle gouge and what I'm trying to do here is to show you that bevel contact is very important. Another thing that's important is also body movement. Um, you've got to remain flexible, obviously, not too stiff, don't grab hold of your tool too tightly, otherwise you lose your fluidity. And the most important thing is bevel contact. And the next, and following very close behind, is body movement. When you're taking a cut, you will raise the handle until you get the cut. Now, it's not a case of standing like this and keeping your body in the same position and moving your hands across. Where you can, you want to lock, and by lock I mean stabilise your tool into your body or your thigh, and get your cut, and you move the whole of your body. You're locked in. That's why it's important. Look, without it even moving, I've got a fairly nice shaving there. So with this spindle gouge, just to go along here, First thing to do, tool rest, rub the bevel, get a nice steady balanced position, rub the bevel, lift the handle till you get your cut and move across the work and you can see where the cut is coming from just to the left of the nose on the left wing. Well, this is the most difficult bit because you're coming to the end of the cut but you've got to get your balance not a perfect cut but a bit difficult with the cameras that's my excuse let's just see how that came out the point i'm making is that you maintain a steady momentum across don't dig into the work you let the tool do the work let the wood come down onto the edge this is a freshly sharpened gouge always keep your tools sharp as well